And in the previous video, I talked about the difference between an anterior pelvic tilt and a posterior pelvic tilt. I call it the old man butt there. And I discussed the different muscular imbalances. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the better, the better stretches and exercises for the anterior pelvic tilt. Uh, just as a reminder, some of the big things were really tight in the hip muscles, the front hip muscles that go from here or even deep in the spine to here. And when they're tight, they pull us forward. And one of the things that we're lacking is the abdominal muscles to pull it back up. So if we stretch here and exercise here, we can reprogram that posture pattern. So for this hip flexor stretch in the front of the hip and the thigh in here, here is one of the most crucial things. And what I see that is missed a lot when people uh, demonstrate this stretch here is you almost want to actively pull your pubic bone up. Your pubic bone is right here, kind of uh, where your belt buckle would be, or just a little bit below that. And because here's the, the pattern there, that anterior pelvic tilt, they grip with their back. We call them back grippers. We want to come out of that before we try to stretch this here. Otherwise it looks something like this and that's not right. You're not going to get what you need. So you actively kind of pull up, you tuck under, you're trying to give yourself a more flat back in here. And as soon as you do that, you will feel the stretch in here. Then you want to be upright through your back and your shoulders. And to increase the stretch, we do this here. So I'm pushing my hip forward here. And then if you really want to get more of a stretch, you bring that arm overhead. My shirt's going to come untucked, but that's okay. So I'm pushing this hip forward and you can really reach. You could even go backwards and right in through here. Try to feel it in the front of that hip. And as another option, you could put the back of your foot up on something, a coffee table. If you've got a box like this, great. Um, could be a chair. But what you're going to do is put more of a stretch in the quad muscles right in here. The same rule applies. You don't want to be here with that arch in your back. If you bend forward, you'll come out of that stretch a little bit, pull that pubic bone up and then come into the stretch. And this will really get that stretch in through here. And the same thing, if you want to bring the arm up and reach over to the side, that greatly increases the stretch in there. And for a great exercise for that anterior pelvic tilt, we are trying to pull the pubic bone up and exercise the core muscles. A great way to just engage those muscles is something called the dead bug. You can be on your back. For a lot of people with that anterior pelvic tilt, they have a lot of space in through here. And what we want to do is flatten that down. Same thing. If you pull the pubic bone up, you flatten that space down and that's where you want to be. We bring one leg up. And once you bring this second leg up, you should feel a little bit more. Ooh, I have to work for that. Some people and how you can tell you really need this exercise is if you kind of go back into that, uh, arched back in through there. So you would put your legs down, reposition, keep that pubic bone pulled up, keep that low back flat and hold that there. And they call this a dead bug because you kind of like a dying cockroach in through here, a dead cockroach. And so you would hold that there. How long do you hold it? This is going to be different for everybody. So you would want to work with a trainer or somebody who knows what they're doing to help set that for you. But a lot of people will try to hold this for 30 seconds, a minute. And then lastly, if you want to make it more challenging, you could, keep that flat, bring one leg out, bring it back, bring another leg out, bring it back. If you start to arch, stop doing that. You just want to hold for some people to really reel it in and make it more easy. Some people would just be, I'm just going to hold that there. That's enough. There's a slight little engagement in there when you just hold one leg for some people, I've got that. I've got this, put my arms in front of me palms facing each other. You could also reach and then you could also reach an opposite arm, opposite leg, keeping that low back flat. And that is your dead bug exercise. There are a lot of exercises that you could do for that anterior pelvic tilt. 
but there are two that I think work extremely well. 